Hi, French horns. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be looking at the brass warm up. This is a warm up that we do every day in the classroom. It is your first five notes that we have learned. So, C, D, E, F, and G, which on French horn is just going to either be open, first position, or third position with the first valve down. So, we are just alternating between those two positions when we do this exercise. So we're going to do those in whole notes, first of all, going up, and then we'll come back down, same five notes, but backwards. And then we're going to go into uh, playing all the, the same exercise, but in quarter notes. So we're going to start with whole notes and then move to quarter notes. So as we're doing this, I want you to remember that we're going to begin every note with the tongue. So you're going to say, da, for the whole notes. Da. And when we get to the quarter notes, we're going to say four da's in a row. We're going to keep the air moving very straight and steady as we do it. And it's kind of like being a ventriloquist. So if you've ever seen anybody with a ventriloquist puppet, you can kind of think of your French horn as like a puppet. And you're going to be moving your tongue inside your mouth, but your lips are not going to move. So everything here stays completely frozen. So like I can talk without any of my lips because I can move my tongue inside my mouth. And so you can still understand what I'm saying for the most part, because I'm moving my tongue on the inside of my mouth. So when we are, um, are tonguing on the instrument, when we're articulating, the same thing happens. Everything here is completely frozen. And on the inside, I'm just saying da. Da, 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 da. Face is frozen. So keep those two uh, concepts in mind as we are doing, uh, starting the notes with the whole notes and doing the four da's. Here is beginning. Sit really straight and tall on the edge of your seat. Make sure, uh, check your hand position down at the bottom of the bell. And make sure that that mouthpiece is coming straight to you. I don't want to see anybody looking down the horn. Your instrument won't play well if you look down like this, okay? So make sure you have the correct horn angle. Here we go. I play, you play. How'd you do? So remember to keep fr uh, completely frozen as you're practicing these exercises every day. Um, keep the air moving steady. 
Um, it is very easy on French horn to have little bobbles in your sound. So we are constantly striving to make sure that the airstream is steady and that we are repeating exactly the same pitch. And even professional players have to work on this on a regular basis. So if you're making little cracks in the sound, don't get discouraged with that. Keep working on it. Keep using your ear to make sure that you are freezing the face putting the note in the same place every time as consistently as possible. Good luck, good luck as you work on these. Um, I am going to do the next two exercises on this, uh, uh, on this page in separate videos. So look for those once you are familiar with the first part, the warm-up section.